Everyone thinks Germany's tech scene is Europe golden ticket. World-class startups, high salaries, and stable jobs. But here is the reality check. Over 12,000 tech jobs have vanished in 2024. Companies are fleeing to cheaper countries and energy costs are literally crushing the industry. In this video, I'm going to reveal why Germany's tech market is crumbling, where are the jobs really going, and how you can still thrive in this chaos. For the people who don't know me, hi, my name is Jesse. I'm a software developer doing an internship in a German media company. I'm originally from Ghana, but was born and raised in Italy, and I moved four years ago to Germany to pursue a career in IT. First thing first, let's take a closer look at the economic situation of Germany. According to the German Council of Economic Experts annual report of 2024 and 2025, Germany is going to face economic challenges, including a projected GDP decline of 0.1% in 2024, and a modest growth of 0.4% in 2025. And all of this is driven by weak industrial performance and structural issues. This highlights the low public spending on infrastructure, digitalization, and education, which also impacts the tech sector's growth. The report also notes labor market stagnation with a rising unemployment of 0.3% and increase since August 2023. Energy is another massive problem. Another key aspect in Germany's economic situation is the high energy cost. The IEA report emphasizes Germany's high energy cost and low electricity storage capacity, despite 60% being renewable energy in 2024. These sky high prices make Germany less competitive for tech companies, pushing giants such as SAP and Siemens to outsourced to lower cost countries such as Poland and India. These energy costs are driving industrial and tech decline. The main reason for the spike in energy prices is the continuous conflict between Russia and Ukraine. And of course, the Nord Stream sabotage that have spiked energy costs and completely disrupted supply chains. In addition, the US-China trade tensions are also affecting German exports with a forecast of 0.5% export decline in 2024. But why does energy and geopolitics matter so much? Well, in order for Germany to stay competitive on a global stage, a secure supply of energy at internationally competitive prices is essential for a strong and productive and resilient economy. High energy costs don't just hurt manufacturing, they directly impact the tech sector, where data centers for machine learning, cloud computing, and the Internet of Things demand massive reliable power. Right now, Germany energy prices are pushing companies to cut costs and move operation to cheaper countries such as Portugal and Hungary. This type of outsourcing is brutal for local tech jobs, with 95% of IT roles now targeting senior or lead position, leaving junior developers basically scrambling. For tech professionals, this means fewer local opportunities unless Germany tries to pull off a self-sustaining kind of innovation type of thing. In order to attract foreign investment, Germany's 500 billion euro infrastructure fund aims to boost digitalization. But bureaucratic delays, bureaucratic delays might scare off investors such as Nvidia who would probably who probably like to invest or choose to park their AI data centers in France where nuclear energy is definitely cheaper. Energy and geopolitics is just one part of the story. Now let's talk about the job market. If you are a tech worker with plans to move to Germany with dreams of trying to become wealthy through employment in a tech role I'm sorry to be brutally honest, but it's going to be really hard for you. The starting salary for a software developer with an apprenticeship degree is between 43,000 euros and 51,000 euros gross per year. As I said in the beginning of this video, I'm currently doing an apprenticeship at a German media company. And sometimes when I speak with other fellow software developers, these are the salary ranges or figures that 
often get mentioned. If you have a bachelor's degree in computer science or business informatics, you can expect a salary between 51,000 euros and 57,000 euros gross per year or upwards of 61,000 if you can land a job in Germany elite companies. A master's degree in the same field will earn you a starting salary between 60 and 73,000 euros gross per year and upwards of 80,000 euros gross per year after three or four years of experience at one of the elite German companies. I have a friend in particular that works at Volkswagen in Germany who's making around these numbers and that's why I'm so sure about them. The best jobs and the best salaries are for the highly educated, people with a academic background, people with a bachelor's or master's degree, or at least a vocational training or in German Ausbildung. This is because Germany runs on a knowledge-based economy. Germany is very different from many other countries when it comes to education and employment. Unlike the United States where skills can often be learned outside of a academic setting and somehow still lead to job opportunities, Germany relies on a rigorous and strict system through trusted institutions. In Germany, a software developer with an apprenticeship degree would hardly never out earn a person with a bachelor's and master's degree in the same field, even with 10 plus years of experience in a specific technology. This is because most employment contracts at elite German companies are negotiated through unions and salaries are standardized based on your title and experience. There are actually very few people who make six figures in tech in Germany. And according to this Coursera article, this is basically the C-suite, the vice president of technology, vice president in for information technology, chief technology officer, and a few IT directors. And they all must work at elite German companies or startup with huge funding. But let me know in the comments below if these numbers are reflecting your experience in the market. Living in the main cities or the major tech hubs such as Berlin, Munich, Hamburg and Frankfurt is not cheap. And if you're making 3,100 euros a month after taxes as a mid-level software engineer, that might not be enough. You might think that you, are, you, you, would, you would be living like a very luxurious life, but no, trust me, you will need to budget. Germany is actively trying to reduce this shortage of IT professionals. But it also seems like the, the people who actually made it to the promised land, Germany, are actually unsatisfied after living for a couple of years in Germany. Expats face a lot of challenges, such as endless bureaucracy, high cost of living, and a pretty steep language barrier. I've been living here in Germany for almost five years and I started learning the language, I think was two years ago or something like that. And I currently hold a B2 certificate of German language, but my German is far from perfect. Connecting with Germans and building true friendship could be a real challenge. Germans are sometimes cold and they have their own f circle of friends. And I would say that they aren't the most open to new friendships. But if you thought that being an expat or making German friends was hard, the ultimate struggle is being a junior software engineer. <laughs> Why? Because this report estimates that 30% of German tech companies plan to offshore roles to Eastern Europe or India by 2026, driven by cost savings. This literally means that if you're a junior developer, you're going to struggle a lot finding a job in Germany because everything is going to just going to be outsourced to uh, Portugal, Poland, and Romania. 
So what roles are going to stay in Germany? Basically, only mid to senior level roles in key industries such as cybersecurity, AI and machine learning, cloud computing, and a few more. And I'm 100% certain about this because I have friends who work in elite German companies and they are basically telling me that they are cutting the internships and apprenticeships for the coming years. The German tech job market is going through a really rough time at the moment and it doesn't seem like it's going to get increasingly better in the short term. The automotive, industrial, telecommunication and enterprise software sectors are all struggling with massive layoffs across Germany. Now, the question is, what can you do as an individual, as a software engineer in this situation? You should try to focus on future in-demand skills such as machine learning, cloud computing, cybersecurity, or data science. Because it seems like being a front-end or back-end developer or software engineer is not enough anymore. If you are a software engineer, but you are a non-German speaker, I will highly advise you to improve your German communication skills because it's going to open far more opportunities in Germany than your technical skills. If you're a junior software engineer, consider relocating in countries with lower cost of living, such as Portugal and Poland, but with a German employer. This could help you boost or gain experience and you can still live moderately cheap in a country in Europe. If you are a mid to senior tech professional with five to ten years of experience coming from a non-EU, non-European country, just be aware that bureaucracy is going to be your biggest demon. And if you're planning to come to Germany, enroll in an online German class and try your best to master the language. Trust me, it's going to massively help you in the long run. In addition, I will strongly recommend you to join expect communities and try to network with other tech professionals as much as you can. A friend of mine, for example, managed to create a solid group of international students with different career backgrounds. Once a month, we meet up, we have a chat, we have drinks, and I think it's a fantastic way to connect, to uh, create new friendships, and you might also find people who are in your same boat. This is my personal advice based on my four years being in this country, being in Germany, and also working in tech, and also the collected experience of my friends and colleagues who also work in tech. If you enjoyed this video and you thought that it was helpful and informative, I highly suggest you to watch this video next, a day in a life as a software engineer in Germany. Click here to watch it now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you find this useful.